Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see about touch link. Okay. So I have cleared a few things in my screen. That's what it was not looking the same as our previous screen. I mean in the previous session. Fine. So let's see that. So just click on this. You can see. Yeah. Not this one. I'll take one object from tool. Yeah. Check on this. Can you able to see the touch links here? So user input, sliders, touch push buttons. All these are comes under our touch screen. Okay. So we'll see one by one. So for that, I'm going to take one button. Fine. I'll take this button. And uh, just take this user input. Okay. So touch link is having user input category. So this is having discrete, analog and string. There are three parameters over here. Fine. So let's see what is this discrete first. So check on that. When you click on that, it is asking for the tag. Okay. So I'm going to choose the tag name. Double tap on this. Yeah, it's loading. It will take you to the tag dictionary, tag name dictionary. You choose the tag name from that. Fine. And also we are having uh, option called key equivalent, message to user, uh, sunset prompt. Like that it is having something. Okay. So what is this actually touch link means? It is not like if you, if I press the button, it will not, uh, it will not turn on the output. Okay. See, so I'm choosing this SW1. Fine. So just go with this. I'm not going to change anything over here. Just go with this SW1. Okay. Fine. I have chosen the discrete and I have given SW1. Click OK. Click OK. So to see this output, I'm going to have this. This as a light. Okay. This is the light I have taken from Wizard. This is also having SW1 category. Fine. So if you want to change the text of this button, just right click, substitute strings. So you just give here on off button kind of. Okay. Just give. Okay. Fine. So it is updated here. Just go online. Just go for runtime. So touch link means it will not exactly work as a, a normal button. Okay. See, if I press, it will give me the extra window. Okay, this is touch link. So it is having both the options. See, if I am taking the normal button, what it will do? It will turn on if I press and again if I press, it will toggle to off condition. Correct. So it is having the toggle operation. But these kind of touch link will take you to the separate dialog box where it is having two options. So the blue color highlighter, no, this is the current position. Currently the switch is in off condition. Now if you press this, it is on. Okay. See for this the color is changed. We need to change the color of this light. It was mentioned as for one it is red color. That's what it is in red color. If you again press it will take you to the window again. You need to off. So this is touch link. On. And this is going to be off. Like this. Fine. So I will make to off. Go for development. And just check out the color of this. See, for true it is mentioned as red color. I'll just change because we used it to like uh, for one it is green color, for zero it is red color. Let it be fine. So that is for discrete. Fine. And also we are having what we are having. Discrete is only for digital. Correct. Also we are having for analog also. Correct. So before getting into that, just go back to the discrete and just check out here. There is some key equivalent option is there. What is this key equivalent means? I'll tell you when you, when you go for the runtime, you need to press the switch so that it will take you to the dialog box. Correct. When you, when you press that button, then only the dialog box was open. I'll show you. See, you are pressing, then only the dialog box come. Correct. So instead of this option, they are giving the key equivalent option. 
What is a key equivalent option means? You can choose any key here. For example, say I am choosing one, number one, number one in the keyboard. If I press that, automatically that box will open. Okay. And I will show you. Go for run time and check. See, I am my cursor is here. See, my cursor is here. I am pressing 1. Can you see? The box hot got open. Now you can turn on. Again, if you want, you just keep the cursor somewhere. Press 1. It will again open the dialog box. So, it is like another shortcut method to open the dialog box. Fine. And uh, we are having one more feature over there, which is this message to user. You can uh, type some message. This message you are going to write here will be display in the dialog box. I'll just type welcome. Oh, no, not. Okay, let it be as welcome. Go for okay. Go for okay. Go for runtime. And uh, press 1. Can you see your message is here? Got it? That's it. Fine. So, this is discrete. Next, we'll see the analog. So, for analog, I'm going to get help from slider. Just take a slider, take it and keep it over here. Fine. Just take one tank. Go for symbol factory. Okay, in this version, I'm not having a symbol factory. Uh, so, while installation, we need to do that. Fine. So, I'm going to have... A, okay, I'll just take one rectangle as a, you know, tank. Fine. Now, create a tag for this. I'm just giving this a slider. Define it. memory real okay save it close it so this is a slider and for this also i'm just giving the vertical fill a slider this is a new project okay fine and now what is this analog touch link so we have seen this digital right for analog we need to give to the slider but when you click on the slider it is not opening the animation link for that you need to break the slider first break it once you have done the break cell click on the slider page this one this this slider this place it will take you to the animation link page fine so go for analog go for analog click on that and choose the same slider here right so remaining and all i'm going to go with the default i'm not changing anything okay i just given the tag name go for okay go for okay go for runtime now just hold on yeah go for runtime just click on this fellow. Can you see one small dialog box open? This is analog touch link. You can give the value here. Just give 70. So according to that, your tank is filling. Just give some other value. Give 100. Yeah, it is filling. When you click on that particular object. See, for this button, we have given the discrete. When I click on this, it will take me to the dialog box. Like that, for which part you have given the animation link. That one you need to press. Just give 67. It is there. Fine. So, this is analog animation link. Okay. I mean, analog, analog touch link. Fine. So, we will see one more thing. I will make this to 0 first. Yeah. Go for development. Right. Now, what I am going to do means click on the same place and it is having various options. No. This is also having key equivalent. Just give the key equivalent as for the previous discrete we have given 1 right. Now give 2. I have given 2. And it is asking message to user. Okay. I will just type enter the value. I am just typing like this. And it is asking whether you want a keypad. 
just give yes yes i want a keypad so it will give you the keypad you can type right and this is the minimum and maximum value of the slider got it and the shortcut i have given is two let's see okay okay go for run time click on this it will take you to the keypad or you can click on this or what is the shortcut we are having two if you press two this will come if you press one discrete will come got it so i'm pressing two so just give the new value 78 it is filled 78 is filled if you want to see some color what you need to give you need to give percentage fill color also you need to give here right got it guys yeah so this is analog touch link go for development so discrete we have seen analog we have seen what what one more thing is less which is string see here discrete analog is done next one is string so for that what i'm going to do means let's take text to display okay text to display message tag display just keep it over here right so this is some message you are going to give fine click on this create a tag for this string tag i'm creating a tag name a string tag and this is a new tag so i'm defining just see the data type this is a memory message save it close it fine so now let it be this is a message you have created the tag now what you can do no you just take this text keep it over here and just type hash 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 if you click it will take you to the touch link page so click on string choose string and choose the tag you have created now string tag and for this you can give the runtime message okay so for that i'm creating a you know shortcut as three and if you want keypad give yes okay go for okay go for okay go for runtime so there is no message over here right so just press three it will take you to the keypad page so you can type here as in touch whatever you want message online you know in a runtime if you want to change something you can go for it yeah so it came here okay there it is not a constant message okay that's what it was not initially came when we when we wait for the you know for the runtime when we came it was nothing over there fine when you press the keypad and when you are updating it will be updating the new new text right so touch link is generally will take you to the another window you can type over there fine so this is touch link user inputs we have seen user inputs discrete analog and string in this session in the next session we are going to see what is the sliders what exactly it is going to do we'll see in the next session okay just practice this in the software guys i'll meet you in the next session fine yeah thank you